2016 ABT Audi TT review When we first drove the new Audi TT it did not blow us away. It is trying too hard to please everybody and for those craving the sporty side it left a lot to be desired. Audi Tuner ABT Sports line promised me their package would solve exactly that. Following a recent test drive of the ABT RS6R the company in Campton invited us again for another test drive, this time they have prepared a ABT tuned Audi TT for us. Based on the Audi TT 2.0 TFSI ABT created a TTS rival with 310 horsepower and 440 Nm of torque. Compared to 230 horsepower and 370 newton meters for the standard Audi TT2, 0 TFSI. On the outside, the ABT TT distinguishes itself with an enhanced front bumper that includes front splitter, ABT rear spoiler, and new rear diffuser. 20 inch ABT wheels complement the exterior. The interior is dominated by Alcantara leather on the steering wheel seats and center console. Performance-wise the ABT Power Kit dubbed new generation is responsible for the power increase. A performance exhaust changes the otherwise quite dull tone of the TT's four-cylinder engine to a more voluminous soundtrack. The suspension is enhanced with new ABT springs and stabilizers. The most important upgrade is the sport brakes on the front. Sized 370 by 35 m they are a major and mandatory upgrade for all TT's drivers who like to enjoy the true potential of their car. For some reason Audi mounts insufficient stopping power on most of their S models. For our test drive with the ABT TT we planned a route to a small ski resort in the heart of the Alga as the region around Campton is called. And from there a spectacular road leads us through valleys and forest back in the direction of the ABT headquarters. The TT was the first car in the Audi lineup to receive the Audi virtual cockpit and the large digital display is a great feature. Having the navigation map directly in view also helps navigating around unknown territory. The ABT TT is front wheel drive and although that doesn't make it as playful as a Cayman or BMW 2 Series, the newfound power, both in accelerating as braking, makes it a lot of fun to drive. It is nimble, has a ton of front end grip and every burst of gas fills the cabin with a satisfactory and full bodied exhaust tune. ABT did a great job of turning the 2.0 TT TFSI into a TTS rivaling sports car. Pretty much all our complaints about the standard car have been solved. And this package makes a solid alternative for a TTS both in terms of price as performance. The 2016 Audi A4 review The all-new Audi A4 has been officially released into a fierce marketplace shared by the likes of the BMW 3 Series and Mercedes-Benz C-Class. We headed to Venice to test out the B9 generation Audi A4 to see if it has what it takes to expand its reach in the compact executive market. When viewing the new A4 for the first time it is apparent that the visual changes are relatively incremental. However. Upon closer inspection, the sharper lines and more aggressive and masculine stance become apparent and the culmination of minor refinements throughout create an overall aesthetically pleasing package. The previous Model A4 was rarely criticized for not looking good enough and it seems like the old saying if it ain't broke don't fix it really seems to ring true here. It still would have been nice to see some slightly more dramatic changes to differentiate it from the outgoing model. Stepping inside the new A4 you are presented with a modern and uncluttered interior space. The quality is what we have come to expect of Audi with premium surfaces and elegant lines. Start the engine and your eyes are instantly attracted towards Audi's new virtual cockpit. This is essentially a 12.3 inch LCD screen that replaces the traditional speedometer and displays all vital information of the car including speed, RPM, navigation and a whole host of other user configurable elements. 
In addition to the virtual cockpit, an 8.3-inch centrally mounted LCD screen allows the driver and passengers to interact with the MMI system which also displays the optional Apple CarPlay controls. For all the audio feels out there, Audi has you covered with the optional Bing and Dolufsen sound system which features a very impressive 3D sound function. We had the opportunity to test all variants of the new A4 in the fantastic road surrounding Suzy Ghana in northern Italy. Unfortunately, on the day we experienced extremely poor weather which favored the Quattro models. The awesome tractive competence of Audi's all-wheel drive system in such extreme weather conditions is sure to be a large motivating factor for many potential buyers. All models, however, drove extremely competently and handled with composure and a feeling of security that Audis have become synonymous with. It is not the most dynamic driving experience out there but definitely a step in the right direction for a company that has been criticized for slightly dull driving experiences in the past. The active suspension also impressed with a very noticeable difference between settings, with comfort ironing out the bumps nicely and dynamic setting allowing relatively firm and flat cornering. Audi R, for the first time releasing the Saloon and Avon simultaneously from launch and will feature a lineup of seven engine options, consisting of three petrol and four diesel variants with prices starting from €32,500. The petrol offering ranges from an entry model 150 horsepower 250 Nm 1.4 TFSI leading up to the two. 0 TFSI boasting 252 horsepower slash 370 newton meters. The diesel engines range from a base model 2.0 TDI with 150 horsepower slash 320 newton meters up to the 3.0 TDI with 272 horsepower and a mountainous. 600 newton meters of torque it's refreshing to see a six cylinder diesel in the lineup as many competitors are increasingly downsizing to turbocharged four cylinder engines in order to meet ever tightening emissions targets audi has put a real focus on refinement improvements with the new a4 and have managed to improve fuel economy across the range by 21 percent whilst at the same time increasing power by 25 percent this is a rather impressive feat and is probably partially thanks to the weight reduction and class-leading drag coefficient of 0.23. All pedal models and four-cylinder diesels come standard with a six-speed manual. This is a fantastic transmission with a reassuring shift feel and easy-to-operate clutch pedal. For those of you who prefer your gears to be shifted automatically. Audi offer an optional 7-speed S-Tronic while the range topping 3.0 TDI comes standard with an 8-speed Tiptronic paired with Quadro all-wheel drive. Both the S-Tronic and Tiptronic performed seamlessly with instantaneous up and down shifts and impressed with its ability to drop multiple gears almost as fast as the hand can tug away at the paddles. Audi's new A4 is built upon the MLB Evo platform which in its most recent iteration, helps shave up to 120 kg off compared to the outgoing model whilst increasing front seat headspace and rear passenger leg space by 24 mm and 23 mm respectively. Storage capacity remains relatively similar to B8 specification allowing the boot of the saloon to accommodate 480 liters and the Avana slightly increased 505 liters of cargo. Much has to be said for the new driver assistance systems integrated into the new A4. The latest advances in adaptive cruise control technology allow the system to foresee the road ahead by utilizing satellite navigation and with the assistance of a camera and other sensors, automatically adjusts speed accordingly. This works impressively well and takes a bit of time to garner the trust to sit back and enjoy the ride but this develops surprisingly sooner than you would think. Before you know it, the assistance becomes a genuinely useful piece of technology. This, in combination with active lane assist truly provides a glance into the future that is autonomous driving. All in all, 
the new Audi A4 is bound to be a huge success and will build on the brand loyalty that has been rapidly building over the past few generations. On one hand, Audi has played the safe card by restricting the visual evolution of the new car, however, when all the pieces are put together and the subtle but valuable refinements are appreciated, the new A4 presents itself as a very valid proposition. The improvements in efficiency, fuel economy, weight reduction and the incorporation of arguably the most technologically advanced user interface in its class are all very valid selling points in this automotive sector. For those of you in the market for a compact executive vehicle, add one more very tempting option to the list. Thanks for watching and listening please like subscribe share and comment.